everyone. Welcome to our first official video podcast program discussion. We'll come up with a better name for it uh, as soon as we come up with a better name for it. In this podcast, we are going to have a conversation about this week's featured program. And we'll, we hope you will join us with a comment below. I am Adam Navis, and I'm joined by Liz Wade. Liz, how are you? I'm good, Adam. Uh, well, you know, uh, I had my birthday a few weeks ago. Ah, so that, yes. Not a few weeks ago. It was a few days ago. What was <laughs> I thinking? <laughs> Maybe it just feels like a few weeks ago. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I had my, my birthday, and, um, you know, that's always like a fun time to celebrate. Yeah. And, um, Do you have any some... traditions around your birthday that you got to – You maybe you had to alter – this year because of uh, quarantine know, normally uh we we go to we go out to dinner which is okay. um you know something we really enjoy doing we really enjoy enjoy going to restaurants as a family um sometimes i just go with my husband but uh this year we have decided really we're just staying in okay. we might get yeah you know i mean like we might get takeout instead of going out yeah 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 um but uh yeah this year we just we just stayed in nice and did you are you expecting um do you have like these does does your husband always get you something did he get you something this year or uh gifts are a big part of birthdays well when you get my age which i'm a little older than you sometimes gift giving <laughs> is less less of a big deal than when you're a child did is gifts part of your birthday tradition um yes uh to be honest normally my mother-in-law gets me the best gifts Ooh, she just always nice. is very thoughtful um but yeah i did get a few gifts this year just little small things to like mess around with on my desk during during you know zoom meetings or whatever ah, nice. um nothing really big really the big thing is just like going out to dinner or yeah. you know finding ways to celebrate you yeah excellent. exactly excellent yep. well that's great well and this uh episode we are going to talk about life and growing and uh getting older and it, we're, the program is uh called uh i am horrible at remembering oh tips for healthy teenage years <laughs> it's part of a series that i wrote about well it's tips for healthy teenagers adam yeah. okay <laughs> well but see... also it's part of a series yes right it's part of a series on tips for healthy living a healthy life mm -hmm. um and i don't think they're all released yet is that correct I mean, that depends on when you're true. watching this yes. video, I suppose. But we've had we've had tips for a healthy pregnancy, tips for a healthy first year, uh, tips for healthy childhood, and now this is the fourth program: tips for healthy teenagers, and we have two more coming up: uh, tips for living a healthy adult life, I think, or recovering from injury. Because yeah. you know, when you when you get old, when, when you you're get an old, adult, yeah. you got a lot of injuries. Yeah. Um. And uh, tips for healthy living or aging well. Tips aging for well, aging yes, well. Yes, yes. So when you know, as you get older and older, you have different. You did. You you need different things at different stages. Yes. I think the teenage years are uh, very. I think teen. So teenage years. Let me let me clarify. When we say teenager, that comes from the number system thirteen through 19. So if those numbers that end in teen, we call those teenagers, the teen years. Mm -hmm. um, and I think people in that age are very funny and very fascinating. Now, I know not everyone does. So Liz, I'm going to ask you, how do you feel about the teenage years? Either you can answer that about your own teenage years or maybe interacting with, with teenagers. Okay, so Adam, uh, we've known each other a long time. Yes. Uh, you know a lot about me. Mm -hmm. Do you think you already know the answer to this question? I would guess <laughs> that you find teenagers annoying. Yes, I do. I, I, um, I mean, everyone is great, right, in a different way. But 
as a general idea, like I don't want to, I don't want to say like if you're a teenager watching this video right now, like oh Liz hates me. That is not true. <laughs> I don't hate teenagers, but um, as a general rule, I think that teenagers are full of drama, yes. which I just can't handle. So you gotta, you gotta explain to maybe people, yeah, uh, who okay, are learning so English. What do, what do you mean by drama? So drama um, is usually a word used for like, like plays, right? It's a it's a play that you put on, a drama that you put on. Um, it's a lot of acting, uh, and so. But when you use that in a social situation, it's uh, so. Here is some drama, right? Did you hear that that uh, this guy is going out with that girl? Oh, like I'm gonna I'm gonna go and break them up and like oh he broke up with me like uh, that yes. sort of stuff. That's all drama, and I am not interested in drama. Yeah. Even when like when I because I watch a lot of TV, I I do I love TV. as we all do. Um, but uh, I can't even stand watching like teen dramas or like teen oh, shows. TV shows. Yeah. yeah. So if it's a TV show that centers on like teen issues about who's dating who and who broke up with whatever oh, and, and what their parents may or may not stuff, let let them do. I will. Yeah. What? Oh, parents are the worst. I will not watch those shows. I hate those shows. So let me make the case of why. Oh, and one second. OK. I also wanted to answer your other question oh. about about whether I liked the teen years. OK. I did not. You I did not. not like my own teen years. High school was the worst. So there's an answer to both of your questions. So I, I will admit my own teen years were a mixed bag as well. Like it's it's a time of huge transition and figuring out who you are or who you want yep. to be. And this is why I like being, I did not like my own teenage years. I don't know many people who do unless you're really like everybody loves you and you're beautiful and you're have, the captain of the football team I, yeah even then i'm i'm skeptical i'm skeptical that they <laughs> maybe I know. but what i think is is so fun is to watch teenagers um try out different personalities like mm. oh this year i'm gonna be really into anime and it's gonna be like my thing and then the next year i'm gonna wear hats <laughs> That's going to be my thing. I'm going to be the person who wears hats or I'm going to be the person who wears all black and I'm listen to really sad music and I'm going to just, I don't care about anything. It, but, and then they just, they get to try on and so, and See, they really, that annoys you, doesn't it? I find that irritating. Like, <sighs> I'm just like, just be a normal person. They, but they've got to work through those. They've got to try. <laughs> okay, Liz, you've got to tell me, did you ever have a phase where you're like, I'm going to always braid my hair. Like, I'm going to always do that. Well, I'm going to I'm gonna wear a certain brand of shoe, and that's going to be my thing. You never had no, a thing? I guess, I guess my thing was wearing very loud, interesting clothing. There you go. See, you're, you don't, I wouldn't, I would not have guessed that about you. Yeah, I know. I know. I got really boring after college. <laughs> now I just wear like dark green and jeans. Yeah. Or black and jeans. I, I had it where I thought, um, like I would wear Converse All-Stars shoes, those canvas, mm. you know, you can look them up online if you don't know what they are, but they're super uncomfortable for my feet. I have w short, wide feet. <laughs> And they're long shoes, so I would have that much room in the toe. But I thought, like, this is what cool people wear. So yeah. I wore them. And, and I'm I, a cool person. I'm a cool person. Um, no, I, th I, I did not like, um, I would not go back. If you said, hey, you can go back in time and be a teenager again. Oh, no way. No, no. Uh, okay, so here's a question for our listeners. I would love to know if you would go back in time and be a teenager again. Oh, if you answer I, yes to that, you have to tell us why. Yeah, yeah. I would love to hear um, what your reasons are either way. Like if you would never go back to being a teenager or if you definitely would. I will tell you, I do not want to go back to being a teenager. Not only 
because I hate the drama of it, but because, of course, I was hit by a car at 15. <laughs> well, maybe and if you so, went back, you could jump out of the way or not cross the road. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess I could jump out of the way. Um, so, you know, I had a lot of uh, a lot of recovery, physical recovery that happened during those years as well. So, yeah. Well, that does. But then also, I did like you know in school, like I had the crutches, so I was like the girl who got hit by a car. You and had then, you know, two the things: the girl who was like, hit by like... a car and wears crazy clothes. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah. Write in the comments below. We would, I would love to hear what you have to say. Yeah. Well, I know you're you didn't choose to get hit by a car, but a lot of people in the teenage years, and this is touched on in the program. Uh, do risky behavior. Oh, um, right. And that is part of your your brain chemistry. You think that nothing can hurt you. Like you, yeah. you really believe that nothing bad will ever happen to you. You just... Okay, so I just want to point out, Adam, we also have another program about that, um, about teenage behavior, which oh, if you yeah. like this program or you want to learn more about teenagers, there is that program that talks specifically about why are teenagers acting this way? Yeah, if you haven't come across that program, it's it's a very interesting yeah. one. Even if you're a teen, you it might help you, but also if you're an adult under try, wanting to understand a teenager, it could mm -hmm. be really helpful. Um yeah, so so I think when I look back at my own life, I loved to like make a ramp and like ride my bike over it. Like out of like a cinder block and a two by four, which isn't like, you know, I, I wasn't doing drugs or anything, but it was still right. in that like, like if my kids did that now, I'd be like, whoa, that's yeah. not safe. Yeah. But I think Sometimes it's. Sometimes as a parent, I think like, uh, you know what? I know you need to do that for your development. I just can't be aware of it. Because right. of course, like. I have a child who is about to enter his teen years. Exactly. And uh yeah, you know, sometimes we get glimpses of that. Yeah. Um, but sometimes I'm just like, okay, you have to do that, but Yeah. So I I gave um I gave my my daughters, my son didn't want one, but I gave my daughters a pocket knife. They each have a pocket knife. And you can cut yourself with a pocket knife, right? But yeah. I, as a kid, I would take the pocket knife and like throw it into the dirt or <laughs> try to throw it into a tree. And sometimes it would bounce off the tree and come back at me. But you have to like find ways, healthy ways of of exploring the world and doing those things. So yeah, so far they haven't hurt themselves too bad, but I yeah. don't know. Soon well, they'll be driving a car, yeah. right? Builds character. Yeah. yeah. Oh, driving a car. I'm not ready for that. Uh, other parents in the comments, if you have a kid who has learned how to drive a car. How do you um, do it? Or or even just a motorbike, right? Even a motorbike yes. like, who has entered, entered like traffic. Uh, that's a, yeah, that's, I'm, not, I'm not ready for that. That is a hurdle that neither you nor I have crossed over yet, but it's not far. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, so, so the other thing that struck me in this program was um, was the kind of food. Like, okay, so teenagers, oh, yeah. they're growing, right? Um, and they're, uh, yeah, their bodies are changing. They're growing. It's And the, they need so much food to, yeah. uh, to maintain that, right? I remember as a teen, I did eat a lot. And I could eat whatever I wanted. Oh, like, yeah. And it... Um, yeah. Like that half was, a pizza. That was amazing. I could eat half a pizza. Oh, yeah. And just be like, oh, yeah, that's just what I ate. And then I would be hungry again in, you know, I'd have another meal. I think there were days, like, regularly I would have four or five, what I would consider now, full meals. Yeah. <laughs> it was, it, it, yeah. Yeah. I can't eat like that anymore. No. And I, I shouldn't have eaten all the, no. the well, bad food. And maybe if it was healthy food, Adam, like I know, like vegetables. Yeah, that's what I did. Food. I ate apples and carrots. That's no. those are good. I didn't. I ate oh chips, chips and and good. whatever else I could find. Really, macaroni and cheese out of a hill. I know. <laughs> 
Yeah, I that's know. the other thing. So make some good choices. I will. I will say. Um, I did want to end by saying that one of the themes that ran, runs through all of these programs is uh, at various stages of our life, we need different things maybe for our bodies, like we need more food as a baby or as a teenager than we do when you're 70 years old. But we all need um, kind of love and acceptance yeah. of who we are, of where we are in our growth, in our development. So, um, you know, Liz... You know, just because you're another year older doesn't mean you don't need that you're like done growing, that you're done changing, that you, you know, you can, you, you don't need love and acceptance at, at whatever age you might be at. Right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's a, that's a strong part at the end where, you know, we talk about like, um, parents have a really big role to play in, in teen years. Right. Um, right. just to not, not to, not to, um, you know, you can stop risky behavior and, and stuff like that, but also just to say, to tell the teens like, Hey, you know what? You're changing. It's normal. Everyone yeah. feels this way. And even if the teen isn't listening, cause right. you know, teens also, uh, generally don't want to listen. They think they're right all the time. Yep. Um, but parents can just assure them that it's normal. Yeah. And that um, the parents will be there for them, teens. you know, no matter what. Yeah. Yeah. Well, anything else you want to add about this program, Liz? Otherwise, um, I don't think so. We hope you've enjoyed this this little discussion. We hope that it's kind of taken that the program that you listen to to the next level. Again, check out that um, teenage dangerous. What? It's not dangerous behavior. Risky behavior. No, it's teenage teenage behavior. Teenage behavior. Um, so be sure to subscribe to us and click the little bell. Give us a thumbs up like on this video. That would helps other people find us. Um, and you'll be alerted when we have a new video. And you can also find our uh, all these programs on our website. I want to make sure I get all these, Liz. Uh, on YouTube, Twitter, mm -hmm. and Facebook. And Facebook, yeah. And Facebook. Well, uh, yeah, so join us again and uh, leave a comment about what you were like as a teenager, and if you would go back and do it again if you could. Thanks, everyone. Bye.